play. You got to really play chess on the chessboard. You got to really know who to fuck with, how, and why. You know what I mean? You fucking with these folks. You can't just be out here putting yourself at risk and hanging around these folks just because these folks got, you know what I mean? They can cater this certain thing that you need to you. It's not a good look for yourself because a lot of people took themselves off the streets. I got folks that, you know what I mean, down bad right now and then probably for something somebody else did or them staying sticking the Lord. You know, it's just, you gotta put yourself in the situations you wanna be in. You can't just be like, I wanna be out there. I wanna be known as this type of person. Or I want people to, everybody think I'm a shooter. <laughs> that would be an idiot to me. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be known on, as a man. shooter. <laughs> who, who wants to go, hey, I'm a shooter. I'm a shooter. I want them to know I always got what on me. I, come on, man. That's somebody that never did that. They never completed those type of milestones. So they want to be looked at dangerous because, you know, from everybody understanding, not just mine, a person that really stepped out here and did certain things, we move in a certain way. You don't want to be looked at like that. So that's how you know you know who to look at and how to understand this stuff that's going on right now. That's why I kind of step back from going live and, and dropping these reactions because they got all this stuff going on here. They got the feds on here fishing. They salivating they, at the mouth right now. They, they, they cracking cases. They cracking code. They learning lingo. They you know what I mean? They learning oh, names. Right. And why people is beefing. Come on, man. Y'all scratching scabs off of old stars. Like, you got to wake your game up. I, I, I will never respect and understand what's going on right now. You know, it's like the shit they say in the Bible. Like, how they say everybody going to start turning on each other. Everything like it, it, everything that's happening is happening to the culture as well. Like, people wake your game up. It's not just happening in the normal world with family members and stuff. It's happening within these organizations. Like, this, this shit is not the same no more. Like it's, a, it's a, like the streets is tricky right now. Now, um, I got a question for you, right? Um, being being out there in LA, right? Where, where you know, LA, LA is always. I feel like when people, I hate when people that don't know shit about like California, West Coast, especially LA, how they want to just talk and act like they know. But on some real shit, like LA is is a real, real good place, like to be at. You know what I'm saying? If if you especially if you a hustler, if you're a go-getter, you know what I'm saying? Um, but the question I'm trying to ask, right? Like, besides what's going on with the with the with the organization politics and all that, aside all that, now what's been going on like when it comes to like cause you know how LA, New York, that's like the two biggest hot zones when it comes to content creators. You know what I mean? So when it comes to content creators from like LA, how how do you feel about how people are moving? Besides, put the put the politics aside. Well, as a now, I'm gonna be the only one that's probably gonna keep it 100 and be solid. Like right. you know, out here right now, it's like. These folks just follow the leader. It's like a trend going on. Even the, even the kids that don't bang, the teens that's growing up, they 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 want to do the things that the game bangers are doing. So how people move out here, everybody is moving and competing right now. That that's that like, this is not a good time like for LA. What I could tell anybody right now, everybody competing and everybody on the same stuff. And back in the days, I remember it was like. You was real different or wasn't effective to be weird. Now it's like cool to do weird shit and do something different because as long as you got clout in the back, it, it's okay to be weird. It's okay to have that that shit on your jacket, a bunch of weird shit on your jacket. Hey, it ain't okay at all. Like like that's just the things that people see. No, but I'm saying people ex ex people accept it because like look at what the whole um, Project Baby situation, Kodak like. Come on, man. Like he, yeah, but, but well, I don't care to... how I don't care how I'm, uh, how I'm on the money, man. Like you know, we, we talking about cultures. Hip hop yeah. has always been a different culture. They always have their own culture. Like so, at the end of the but, day, these rappers and these different people got these rapper hearts. They in a different type of culture. They stuck in between. They still want to drag. You know, maybe the gang culture or another culture, drug culture, whatever they doing. They want to drag it along with them. But at the end of the day. 
the culture they competing with, you know, the streets can never, you know, apply any type of pressure to that type of situation. The street, right. the, our culture is different from that hip hop culture. You know, even no, though, don't you think? Even though a lot of cross flagging, a lot of them probably not even from where they. I don't know, you know, but I know. But don't a, you think? Ain't moving right. Don't you think like the music is it, it spills into the streets? Like if you think about it, the rap game is the streets now. It, it, no matter how you look at it, it like I feel I like it's. I wouldn't say that because remember, you are who you are. Like whatever you take in, that's what the universe go give you. So if you putting out that type of energy and you just watching these videos and you listening to these YouTubers and these fake ass OGs that just want to tell you a story and pull it, you know what I mean? A rabbit out of a hat and say, wow, and give them a few views. Like, mm -hmm. that's different. If you're going to listen to that, then yeah, maybe it might dictate your mind. But if you moving and you being your own person, mm -hmm. like that doesn't affect you. Like the internet doesn't affect me. I don't watch the internet. I really like, I will only watch certain things. If I get on here, I stop even looking for content because there's so much BS going on right now. So I, I really don't react or speak on other people putting their own politics on the internet so i just stay up out of it so i, I want to ask what everybody right. Do right now everybody's on the court cases uh the ynw melly stuff the uh yeah, yeah. The, you know young thug all, all, all the little stuff that's going on you're forgetting something though and a lot of people a lot of grown-ass men are worrying about what another grown man is doing with his penis you know what i mean with yeah. the whole uh c-max situation yeah. uh Everybody's yeah. stressing and who cares what he's doing with another woman? Like I feel like no grown man, not you don't even see women bloggers talking about this. All it's only all the men that is talking about this. About what that man, who that man decides to lay down with. Like so yeah, what me... if if he if he's paying for it, who cares? That's his business. That's yeah. his business, bro. Right. Yeah, I mean, well, I want to know your thoughts on that of other grown ass men. Worrying about what another man's doing with a woman. Like, that to me, like, we from the 80s. We don't worry about shit like that unless that woman is akin to us. Like, and we're going to worry about if he's putting hands on her or disrespecting the kids or something like that. That's the only time we're going to worry. But come on, bro. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't, you don't even, I don't see not one woman blogger. And I'm subscribed to a lot of women on YouTube. They're not talking about what C-Max doing with his shit. You know what I'm saying? It's only the men doing it. Like that shit is wild as fuck. It's facts though. That's um what I could say. Um You have a question too by uh Tony T. Let me say do great shit. Man, look. Like a lot of people don't understand like the culture, like like in our section, we don't care about none of that. Like, you know what I mean? If you you're a civilian you live in our, you live in our um, circle, or you hang with certain people. We gonna protect you like we protect us. That's 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 how it is. That's how it goes. And you know, not just my community, but a lot of different organizations and communities um, act like that. We protect each other. But as far as you know, the question, like. I want to say, like, everybody, you know, got their own taste of what they want and what they want to do. And everybody got a mate and everybody mate got a history. You you think you the only one that did this and that with the, with the girl you got or the, or the dude you got? Man, everybody got a history, man. Every, everybody, um... You know, the dib and dab, and everybody got their own motives. It's like whatever you want to deal with. Like me, I couldn't find my time of the day to worry about what the next dude girl it's, did with her life because everybody girl got a story. The next person girl probably got a more fucked up story. At least she keeping it a stack. That's what I'm gonna say. At least, at least she coming on here saying this is what I do. Exactly. This is what I do. She's not hiding who she is. So at the end of the day. I ain't got nothing bad to say about it. Like, I, I got to respect it because she giving you an option. She's living right. her truth, bro. Yeah. See what I mean? She giving you she went. I'm telling you, I, I, I juice niggas. I give you, I'm, I'm going to service you. But 
this needs to be paid this needs to be done if you choose to deal with that that's what you chose to deal with because at the end of the day you know what i mean a lot of these these, these girls you know what i mean these dudes girls is getting something paid on the side little do they know if they're not standing on business if you're not huh. being a man if you're not getting up and taking care of your family and taking care of your girl like huh. trust and believe man she not gonna just sit there be hungry she might go get somebody and bring something to the table for both y'all but huh. You want a loyal female, stand on business. Get out there, get up, grind, work, do whatever you gotta do. Side hustle. But you should never have no pressure on your household. So that's what a lot of folks go wrong at. They like, they ain't pulling it all the way. So they getting used to everybody want 50-50 all the time. So they like, we gotta go half on everything. But they goosing the girl at the, at the end of the day. It's like, they getting over. I call that like getting over. Where you're like, you're going to have for everything. It's like, she she holding her own, you holding your own. You really ain't got no say for Y'all roommates. <laughs> I'm just keeping um, it. But I ain't, to far as them speaking on him and what he doing with her, I don't know. Yeah. That's, that's, that's weird. Yeah. And, got and no talk. women. Women are not even talking about it. And then women usually are the ones doing shit like that. I feel like the it's the changing of the guard, man. It's the tables have turned. A lot of these dudes is acting like broads, bro. And the women are the ones fucking putting their pants on, buckling their belts, and taking care of business and standing on business, man. You know what I mean? This shit is, it's just all fucking out of whack. Like, this shit is, <laughs> I be like, all you see is is, is grown ass men talking about what, what's going on. And then I wanna, I wanna, I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna say, I wanna say this too about uh, her baby dad. I feel like he upset. His feelings is hurt because think about it. Like, and then he looked weird to me. How you gonna sit there? You know, I know we go through our, we we all go through with our kids' moms and shit. But you gonna sit there and the mother of your children, bro. You gonna sit there and destroy her for the world to see. Only hurt motherfuckers do that, bro. Yeah, I mean, motherfuckers, pe- people, people that are, their ego and their pride is hurt. You know what I'm saying? They do that. I feel like he ain't sturdy for that. He should, you know, men don't move like that, bro. He should have just took that shit on the chin. Whatever, whatever is whatever. Whatever is going on. And then on top of the fact that you used to put hands on her too. Like, come on, bro. You think you think a woman that's going to respect herself and, 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 and her kids, she's, she's going to stick around with that, bro? Stick around with a dude that's going to be beating on her, bro? Like... And then you jumping online, mad as hell, it, trying to expose her. Come on, bro. That shit weird to me. Like, men don't move like that, bro. Like, come on, man. And he and he, I, he around our age, right? He's not no young bull. I could see if he was 19, 20. You know what I mean? He don't know no better yet. He don't even know himself yet. But that brother's in his 30s. There's no excuse. You know what I mean? There's no excuse for that. You know, I always say, you know what I mean? Each his own, like... That's that's what he got going on. Like that's 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 what's wrong with the internet right now. They're like everybody in their feelings and they on the internet and displaying it. Like it's a lot of folks that move like that, but they just don't be on the internet. It's yeah. just the world. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like and he can't get mad that people are, uh, are responding to it because nigga, you did it. You put it up there for clout, for views, and you trying to get paid off it. And you so you. You put it once you put it in the internet, you cannot get mad if people like if I go on here and start saying some shit and people start chopping in what I set up and then they start getting on me. You know what I mean? I can't get mad at that because I put it out there in the universe and I put it on the net. You know what I mean? But that that I just I, I just look at that situation like like I seen that he was putting some out there where it was threats or something being made, I don't know, whatever, allegedly. He wild for that terroristic yeah. threats, like like niggas like like you can't come know. get. But well, that's something I don't want to be a part of. You know what I mean? Hell no. <laughs> that's like that's like you know what I mean. That's the indictment, fed ticket or whatever. Like I, I don't even want to know what I mean. They they doing what they doing. He did what he did, and he responded how he responded. But that that's what he on. I ain't on that. Like hell no. Nah. What you say? That's that's beta trait. That and al- alphas don't move like that. Alpha's gonna charge Alpha, Alpha's gonna charge that shit to the game, know his worth, know his body, know his bop, and gonna keep it pushing. 
he gonna be sitting there bitter upset women do that and this ain't a knock at women but women go off emotion not all of them but the majority of the women species man they do that shit men don't do that bro like and then especially you're gonna sit there and try to humiliate the the mother of your children bro like you know what i mean like keep that shit behind closed doors if you're gonna do some shit like that without putting hands on them like because you know once once a woman loses loses respect from you bro it's 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 hard to get that shit back bro you could you could do a 360 and change bro I, i'm still going through shit with some of my baby moms uh they're still judging me from the my past discretions when i was younger with them you know what I'm saying i ain't never put hands but i was always on some womanizing shit using shit uh mentally abusive shit you know and and some of them can't take it like damn this nigga really changed so they always hit me with well you know what I mean? You know how it is. So it's like, it's hard to get a woman's respect back once you lose it. And once you do a lot of foul shit to them, for them to lose the respect for you, bro. You know what I mean? So it's like, I can only imagine. Imagine if I was hitting women too, on top of the shit I was already doing to them. Like, come on, bro. Like, you, I, I feel like where a lot of dudes fuck up at, they fail to put themselves in that woman's shoes or in a woman's shoes, period. How would you respond to you? if you was a woman you know what i mean like when i started learning how to do that that's when i started becoming a man for real and learning how to move with women bro you know what i'm saying and not every man can do that bro not every man could take and can look in the mirror and check themselves and hold themselves accountable for their fuckery bro but a lot of niggas want to sit there and point fingers and hold others accountable that shit don't work like that bro for real right uh, <sighs> 